Hi everyone, it's Lisa Brown with InkandInspirations.com. Thank you for joining me today. In this video, I have a rubber stamping 101 tip that if you're just starting out with our inks that you may not know this, uh, with our classic inks, you can emboss them by putting clear embossing powder after you stamp because the ink is wet and the embossing powder will stick. And this enables you to do plenty of coloring uh, without the ink smearing on your image, especially on these larger images. This is what the little honeybee from the Shooting Star stamp set. You will see this again later uh, in another video forthcoming. But I wanted to show anyone who wasn't familiar with this why I would emboss this classic ink. Okay, I can see it getting shiny, so I know it's good to go. And then I can take just anything. I can't even apply water. Uh, here I have an aqua painter and some, um, let's see. I'm gonna take a little bit of smoky slate and just dab a little bit of that there and I'm going to put some in this little stripe and then again here okay and then I'm going to take my Wink of Stella Gold and color in here and color the head and if I go over that ink, it's not going to smear. It is a water-based ink, but in a previous video, I've also showed you coloring with blender pens, and, and I'll have try to have the link to the video up here on the screen. But with blender pens and ink, I didn't emboss because it was a small image, and I didn't have to worry too much about pulling the color in, applying a liquid or water to it, water-based products. Okay, so there's my little honeybee, and I can do the same with the honeycomb, and just stamp that, and I use Tip Top Taupe, clear embossed it, and then I can apply water uh, with Aqua Painter and also my Week of Stella pen. Okay, I hope that tip helps you, and you will give it a try. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.